and welcome to our spring 1999 edition of Caltex Video Magazine. In this edition, we will see how Caltex is addressing the year 2000 problem, profile the launch of Haviland Energy in South Africa, and take a look back at the 1998 Asian Games. First, though, an update on our corporate core relocation. The transition to Singapore is continuing smoothly. Chairman David Law Smith and other senior executives have now arrived in Singapore. Our opening story is a video montage prepared by Caltech Singapore, highlighting our new offices and Mr. Law Smith's first day. Energy brand has been officially launched in South Africa. To demonstrate the technological advancements of Haviland Energy, members of the media were invited to witness a scientific test of the product against the competition. The results were outstanding. Near Pretoria, a high-tech test track facility set the stage for launching Haviland Energy in South Africa. Comparison tests were conducted at the track using four identical 1.6 liter Hyundai automobiles. Prior to the test, the cars were inspected and tuned to exact specifications to ensure their power output and performance were similar. Gerotech, which operates the track, conducted comparison tests of Haviland Energy and a standard competitor's brand. The results were impressive, an average fuel economy improvement in the test cars of 6%. The tests were done following surveys in Europe, examining what consumers were looking for in a motor oil. So the Europeans wanted both fuel economy and enhanced engine protection in their fuel economy oils. A step out beyond that is the Ford 913 specification. What Ford have done is said we want even more engine protection than is in a CA1 and we want better documentation of the fuel economy performance than is required by a CA1. 
What we've done with Haviland Energy, we've aimed beyond both of those targets. We've jumped right over a CAA1 and we've gone beyond the Ford 913 requirements. So in a sense, we have set a third benchmark beyond those two significant ones. Test results were announced to the media at this press conference at Gerotech. Journalists were given detailed analysis of Caltech's Haviland Energy. Following the press conference, a live demonstration was given with a single Hyundai automobile running a competitor's brand, then with energy. Results of this single test were higher than the reported average, showing an amazing 8% increase in gas mileage. The event marked the start of an extensive ad campaign in the region with television, radio, and point-of-sale promotions for Haviland Energy. Now for a Caltex commercial break. Here's the Haviland Energy ad, a dramatic version of the track testing we saw in our last story. Four identical cars, four identical engines. Only one uses a new breakthrough in mineral oil technology formulated to enhance your engine's performance. A breakthrough that can improve fuel efficiency by up to 6%. Only one lubricates so efficiently, it leaves other engine oils standing still. New Caltex Haviland Energy. It goes the extra mile. A new millennium is drawing near. There's much speculation concerning the year 2000 and the potential impact to business systems and economies. Caltex has a global year 2000 program in place to avert the potential problems associated with the Y2K bug. Our next story examines Caltex's year 2000 program and the work of the company's corporate Y2K team. The team has focused on helping Caltex operations develop appropriate contingency plans. The development of appropriate contingency plans is an important step in the process of mitigating the potential impact of Y2K on critical systems and supply chain providers. Dion Ray, Corporate Y2K Support Services Lead, explains Caltex's approach. The Caltex Year 2000 program consists of four main steps. Firstly, to do the inventory, then we'll do the business risk assessment, and then the year 2000 risk assessment, which is part of your compliance verification. And then the fourth step is the action plan, during which time you will do the remediation of the systems, as well as developing your contingency plan. The Caltex Corporate Y2K team produced two videos and contingency planning materials to help all Caltex field companies in this important step. Linda Grigsby, Caltex Y2K Program Director, explains the importance of contingency planning in an introduction to the videos. This video has been produced in response to your request. It is a guide to the contingency planning process. By following solid contingency plans, we can mitigate the potential safety, environmental, and business impact of the year 2000 problem on our facilities from both external and internal sources. Caltech's field companies now have a powerful tool, including a comprehensive set of guidelines and documentation to help train personnel in developing contingency plans for the year 2000. John Etherington, Year 2000 Project Manager at SPRC, explains why it is important for personnel at all Caltech field companies to watch the contingency planning videos. I think um, this contingency planning phase, which is basically the last phase, is certainly a critical phase because I think if uh, people are not feeling comfortable about the work they've done up to this point in time, certainly the contingency plan is really a backstop for all that other work. The two videos address the Y2K issue from two separate but related approaches. Our contingency plans work from bottom-up and a top-down approach. The bottom-up portion will rely heavily on the system owners and will be dealt with by the current Y2K teams in the field. The top-down approach that looks at the overall business strategy as well as the major supply chains will depend very much on input from senior management. Caltex's year 2000 four-step process is being used by all field companies in preparation for the year 2000 and to ensure that we meet corporate objectives, which are no accidents, no environmental incidents, and no major business interruptions as a result of the Y2K problem. 
implementation of contingency plans should be a part of every field company's action plan to further reduce the risk of potential losses associated with Y2K failures should they occur. All information and documentation associated with Caltex's Y2K program is available through the Planet Caltex intranet on the World Wide Web. The work of the Caltex Year 2000 project team is geared to help all Caltex facilities achieve the Year 2000 program goals. The 1998 Asian Games in Bangkok were an unqualified success for the region and for the Caltex brand. Let's look back now to the 13th annual Asian Games. Bangkok, December 1998, a city alive with excitement for the 13th annual Asian Games. The Caltech star is visible everywhere, on buses, taxis, billboards, and television. Caltech stations and Starmart C stores feature Asian Games related merchandise and advertising, as well as cross-promotional contests and giveaways. Our role as an official partner in the Asian Games was used to its fullest to gain optimum visibility in Thailand and across the Asia-Pacific region. After arriving in Bangkok for the Games, Chairman David Law Smith, other Caltech's executives, and their VIP guests were treated to the sights of the region. Their tours of the area included the Temple of the Emerald Buddha, the Grand Palace, the Floating Market, and the Rose Garden. It was a very fruitful occasion for Caltex to promote itself and for the senior leadership to establish or strengthen business partnerships. On to the opening ceremonies. The Caltex group visited the on-site Caltex C-Store, positioned just outside of the main stadium for the games. The group then proceeded into the stadium in time for a full slate of performances, marking the opening of the games. As with the Olympics, the opening of the Asian Games is full of color and pageantry, an event unto itself. Singers and dancers fill the stadium with a sense of anticipation and wonder. Chai Yo, official mascot of the Games, rose above the crowd in a sea of balloons and light. A lone torchbearer lit the ceremonial flame, signaling the official start of the Games. The Caltex Hospitality Tent provided a convenient and fun gathering place for Caltex dignitaries and guests of the corporation. On closing day, it was also a place for warm goodbyes. After two exhilarating weeks of competition, time had come for the closing of the games. Again, the stadium was filled for an evening of celebration. It was a beautiful finale, culminating with song and fireworks. and a sign looking ahead to the next Asian Games, slated for the year 2002 in Busan, South Korea. The slogan, Energy in Action, certainly fit the Asian Games in 1998. The absolute best athletes from the region competed tirelessly, pushing themselves to the limits with breathtaking performances. These games drew competitors from 42 nations. The Caltex brand was a prominent fixture in every venue, further driving home a visual connection between Caltex and the image of athletic excellence. That's our show for this time. Thank you for joining us for another edition of Caltech's Video Magazine. We leave you now with more music and images from the 1998 Asian Games.
from the day we're born in this wide world. We are born with missions to keep. There are calls from voices in despair to love, to share, to give. From the sea, the hills and the cities, smiling faces, best of the best. Listen to the calls here.